Hello, I'm going to review the Twisby Eco. I've got two of them here, this one in green and this one in white. This green one I've got in it this ink, which is a you know nice transparent orange. And uh, in this one here I've got <clears throat> this uh, Pelican Brilliant Green. Now, these two pens I've got, this one has a medium nib. Here's the finial. If you want to take a look at that. The nib looks like this. There you go. And over here, here is the white one I've got. Finial looks like this because it's the special edition Taiwan Post Office. That's the logo for Taiwan's post office, which I picked up here in Taiwan. I'm not sure if it's available outside of the country. You might be able to find it online or something. And this one has an extra fine nib. I'm going to start with a writing sample and then switch inks. Um, but first let me say that these nibs were not perfect out of the box. I had to uh, um, modify them a little bit, take a little knife and put it in between the tines to kind of spread them out a little bit, get the flow in a little better, polish it a little bit. But I've had to do that with virtually every single pen I own. I guess maybe it's, I don't know if it's a placebo effect or whatever, but now they write optimally how they should. And so here's the one with the medium nib, this ink, which I, I'll change the inks here soon. You can see it with different ink. Yeah, so let's see. Wonderful. Oh yeah. It has a nice flow. It's solid. It doesn't doesn't skip. It keeps going. Um, this medium nib is really smooth. But it doesn't have much flex on this medium one. You can get a little bit, like but just barely. Flex. Yeah, just barely. Right. So but the extra fine, I'm really glad I picked that up. Because this one, oh, by the way, the paper I'm using is this Tomo River paper. It's a popular paper from Japan, I believe. Yeah, really nice. It doesn't have bleed through, but yet it's really thin. It doesn't feather. So it's really good paper. So this extra fine, I'm going to smear it because I'm left-handed, and that's, that's a bummer, but that's what happens. So the extra fine is great once I got it um, nice and tuned because it keeps a nice, really extra fine line, but nevertheless, it doesn't stop, it doesn't skip, works really well, and it has great flex. So you can really have fun with this pen. Um, so, this one, I really recommend the Extra Fine, um, although if you do want a nice, smooth, uh, solid line, the Medium is really great, but, you know, it doesn't, it won't give you the line variation if that's what you're looking for. So, let me switch some inks, because I want to do that anyway. I want to see how this one looks in black, because I enjoy calligraphy, so, let's see how that goes. Alright, now I'm ready to ink them up. I got them all cleaned out. Um, a great thing about these pens is how you can simply remove the feed and nib real easily. Just pull them, pull them right out. I want to make sure I get this back in. There's the extra fine one. Yep. All right. Feed fits right there, and it's got a little notch and groove, so it's pretty foolproof. Although it does, it fits pretty well, and it's not really tight though, so it uh, almost feels a little too loose. So you got to make sure it's really in there, and the ink, I think, gets uh, the feed really saturated, and so it can it can almost blob. So it's a really wet writer. Um, so that's one thing you have to be careful for, especially uh, on my medium nib. This one, it uh, it would often blob if I'm not careful. You you shake the pen, and it can get on your clothes. So um, let me put these back in. You can see how easy it is to do. And yeah, real easy to clean out. I recommend taking out the nibs to clean them. Um, 
Here's that piston in action. You can unscrew it all the way. It comes with a little wrench, a special wrench you can use to undo this and pull the whole assembly out and so you can really do a complete service on the pen yourself. So, put this back in. There we go. Alright, the inks I'm going to use are... I'm going to put some gray. This is Private Reserve with its very basic bottle that they've got. <laughs> yeah, it's, the ink is still alright. So I want to put this in my medium nib. So simply, you know, dip it down in there. Turn the piston, draw some ink up. I don't need to fill it all the way, I'll just put some in there. That's good enough. In that. Ooh. It's gross, it's kind of solidified at the bottom. Well, hopefully it'll still write. Anyway, I'll wipe that off. There you go, I kind of see the ink moving around in there. There we go. So it's only about a third of the way full. You can really move that piston up until the ink gets all the way up there and dip it down and refill it. And then you can get a complete fill, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. So here's a private reserve. Here's Lamy Black, which I will use in the Extra Fine. Move that piston down, put it in, turn it, got a really good fill on that one. But like I said, they're really easy to completely fill up if you'd like. Alright, now, there you go, writes just fine. Um, I was put the wrong cap on it. Anyway, these things are great to post. Unlike some other Twisbees, these post very nicely. They got, they've got this O-ring, and so they're just made to post. You don't have to, but I find large hands, they, they, they work really well posted. So let's start with this extra fine and see what kind of uh, line variation we can get on this. All right, get some more. No, oh, that's fine. Here we go. Okay, so here it is, just writing regular regularly. Looks like it keeps up just well, no problem at all. And variation. You can get some variation out of there, line variation. Wonder. Uh, it's hard to look at the camera and make it nice and pretty and all that. There we go. Flex. Yeah, so you can get some really nice looking words with this extra fine here. I guess it worked a little, it seemed to work a little better with the green. So I guess inks will, you know, have their own properties. But, you know, it's a great pen. Um, let's just see how this one writes. This one here. I won't post it. I won't worry about it. It's, with its gray. Very smooth. Which you will get with a larger nib. So this being the medium. Wonderful. But like I said, the medium has yeah, I guess you can get some line, line variation out of it. Let's just try that. More so than it had last time with with that orange ink in there. Oh, not too bad, but you can see a little bit better here. So, there's the Twisby Eco. It's great, it's cheap. I mean, for a fountain pen, it's really cheap. The ink in there, you can see the level, it's really cool. Uh, the ink I had in there for a while didn't did not stain either of them. This one's completely full, so you can't see the extra one in there. But yeah, the ink in there did not stain at all, and so they're great pens. I recommend them.